Cameron Highland is located in the far northwest of Pahang. Just over 200 kilometers or 3 hours drive north from Kuala Lumpur. This cool mountain region, the highest on the Malaysian mainland, rises to 1,500 meters above sea level, makes it a popular escape for international travelers and locals alike. Named after William Cameron, a surveyor who came across the plateau at the late 1980s. By the 1930s, the area's rolling mountain and the lush valleys had become a heaven for colonial era Brits seeking despite from the lowland heat. Stunning colonial architecture, deco, and garden design lovingly preserved by the new generation of the innkeepers and restaurateurs making the region an ideal destination for romantic getaways. With covering 8,718 hectares of agriculture area, Cameron Highlands has four major plantations which are tomatoes, tea, strawberries and flowers. One of the iconic plantations in Cameron Highland is strawberries. There are seven strawberry farms in Cameron Highland that are open to the public daily. The cold climate makes it suitable for cultivating strawberries all year round throughout the highlands, with most farms concentrated at Tanarata, Brinchang, and Kia Farm. When in season, many of these farms offer strawberry picking by hand to attract the visitors. In local cafe and restaurants, it's a trend to incorporate strawberries in the menu, whether as ingredients for a dish or a choice of flavor in pies, cakes, ice cream, waffles, chocolates, and drinks. Cameron Highlands is famous with its strawberries. However, it is not the main contributor to agricultural sector in Cameron Highlands. Strawberry. Kesi Kwang and Sons, which is the biggest tomato farm in Cameron Highland, is located in Blue Valley. The polybag technique plantation helps to boost the productivity of tomatoes. High demand in Middle East makes Dubai as a main hub to export the tomatoes to other Arab countries. Cameron Highland is also a leading producer of fresh flowers in Malaysia. Most of the flower nurseries are centered around Bertam Valley and all along the way from Brinchang to Kampung Raja. The common flowers grown here are roses, carnations, chrysanthemum, dahlia, geranium, fascia, and gladioli. Flowers are one of the contributors to agriculture sector in Cameron Highlands. By the help of fertigation technique plantation that introduced by Mardi, the flower plantation continue to grow year to year. Tea is a historical plantation in this highland region. In Cameron Highland, there are two largest tea companies which are both plantations near Bahard and Barat Tea Plantation Sendir Bahar. Bo Plantation was founded by J.A. Russell in 1929. This company owns three gardens located at Habu, Fali, and Sungai Palace. Bo would be the largest company in Malaysia manufacturing black tea. They also become the largest manufacturers in Southeast Asia of black tea. Together, this plantation covering 8,000 hectares and produce about 4 million kilograms of tea yearly that contributes about 70% of Malaysia tea output. Sungai Palas Plantation, both featuring its own tea center that introduce the information about tea to the public. However, 
Cameron Highland cannot avoid from development and modernization due to extreme development project that has been conducted all around Cameron Highland it has faced several challenges since the past decade The first challenges in Highland agriculture is landslide. This problem happened due to illegal deforestation activities from illegal lodging where they do not follow the guideline given by the Ministry of Agriculture. Landslide occur when the slope is higher than 25 degrees and it lead to unstable movement of the soil. From time to time, it contributes to block drainage problem. Then the problem become more serious when the rainy season ahead. The rainwater cannot be drained by the rivers and cause a mud flood occur. May 29, 2016 A huge damage of facilities and bridge that connect the main road in the village at Orangasli Post, filled in Kuala Terla, collapsed after being hit by strong stream of Ulu Telom River. El Nino phenomenon also creates the challenges in the development of agriculture in Cameron Highland. It occurs due to the fluctuation of temperature between the atmosphere which leads to high temperature all over the region. This phenomena affect the numbers of production as well as the quality of the agriculture product in Cameron Highland. On the other hand, the effect of El Nino causes the number of tourists to Cameron Highland reduced. In addition, uncontrollable usage of pesticide in highland agriculture brings the high level of poison in the vegetable product. According to report from the Department of Agriculture in Cameron Highland, only 10 out of 126 rivers is in a clean condition from pollution especially from chemical pesticide that cause the water being contaminated with chemical substances. The government has collaborated with Marty and Fama in order to come out with various programs and events to develop the agriculture sector of our nation. Fungsi kita ini adalah pendidikan dan hemat nasihat. Uh, kita 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 lebih pada R&D pendidikan uh, pertanian pendidikan pertanian berkenaan dengan lebih pada sistem petikasi sebab uh, pertanian tanah tinggi ini adalah pertanian tanah ini lebih suka kepada pertanian petikasi daripada petikan petikasi adalah pertanian tanpa tanah mana dia tak tanam tanah dia tanam dekat polybag dan sebagainya lah uh, Selain itu, kita juga memberi hebat nasihat kepada petani sekiranya petani ingin mendapatkan kenapa berlaku serangan penyakit, serangan serangga, predator dan sebagainya dan juga berkenaan dengan tanah, soil. Kita akan 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 beri nasihat dan nasihat kenapa sesuatu pertanian tu ataupun sesuatu sayuran tu tak sesuai dengan orang tu menggunakan kita gunakan kaedah uh, uh, sistem lah. Oh, Rama lebih kepada uh, melibatkan industri asas tani ataupun program-program yang melibatkan pembangunan usahawan lah. Hmm. Uh, yang mana kita di sini lah yang kita yang sedia ada lah ya. Uh, program uh, cash shop uh, Kemudian pasal tadi, kerabu buahan, 
kemudian yang lebih benda melibatkan kepada pemasaran lah bagi membantu ataupun menyelesaikan masalah pemasaran bagi memasarkan produk-produk uh, Kita sebenarnya kita lebih kepada tugas-tugasan uh, aktiviti pembangunan lah. Maknanya uh, tujuh aja daripada segi teknikal, uh, hikmat nasihat, daripada segi pemantauan, pemantauan racun lah. Uh, lebih kepada tu. Macam Kepala Highland sebenarnya kita ada dua jabatan pertanian. Satu federal, macam kita step yang federal tu dia lebih kepada dia lebih kepada bidang teknikal. Soil, uh, sampling, sampling hasil semua kan. Macam kita di Batang Pertanian Daerah ni, kita lebih kepada khidmat nasihat. Ha. Kerajaan, rakan kerajaan berapa ratus keseluruhan ni, kalau rekan uh, di Bandi Kerajaan ni, kerajaan memberi ni lah akan kita punya apa ni peningkatan dari segi pertanian kerajaan bagi peruntukan lah peruntukan R&D contohnya peruntukan berkenaan dengan leases uh, leases uh, kepada baru kita yang ada projek lah untuk ekspor orang kita terutama di Singapura lah dia uh, dia melibatkan uh, masalah traceability jadi bila terdapat uh, kandungan sebagai racun yang tinggi uh, mereka terpaksa, terpaksa untuk merupuskan uh, komoditi ekspor dan merupakan kepada uh, pengeksporan import terpaksa ini <coughs> kemudian <coughs> dengan adanya GPL lah, Credit Packaging Label ini kita menghendaki pengeksport ini untuk meletakkan label supaya kita boleh meng- mengesan dan membantu petani tersebut supaya hasilnya dapat di, di uh, bersaing untuk so, mengikut kualiti yang uh, terlangsa Pharma has introduced grading, packaging and labeling GPL in order to maintain the quality of the product GPL is a regulation to ensure all agriculture produce that sold in bulk or retail are graded, packaged and labeled before they are marketed locally, exported or imported. SLM ni sebenarnya adalah salah satu persijilan yang yang kita iktirafkan kepada pengusaha bila dia telah menepati syarat yang kita kita sediakan dulu dikenali sebagai salam tapi selepas pada saya ingat dalam 2013 kita dah rebrandkan ke MyGap maknanya kita nak kita nak selaraskan dengan negara lain lah macam negara, uh, Thai, uh, Thailand dia Thai Gap uh, Indon, Indo Gap kan Gap tu uh, good agriculture practice maknanya amalan pertanian baik lah Ha. MyGap is the new name to scheme amalan ladang baik Malaysia SALM in agriculture sector that has been launched on August 28, 2013. SALM is a certification scheme that recognizes good agriculture practice GAP to produce high quality agriculture products that is safe to be consumed. Selain itu, uh, projek pengairan lah, dengan pengairan ataupun research berkenaan dengan tanah soil selalu je kalau dengan tanah uh, Peruntukan itu adalah berdasar kepada jumlah uh, projek lah melibatkan jenis ataupun uh, pembangunan yang ataupun pembangunan yang, yang dipohon oleh uh, peserta. Sebagai contohnya kita ada program uh, Cup Chain to Upgrade lah, yang bagi untuk uh, industri asas tani yang mana yang pertama uh, seorang pengusaha 
kita lah uh, melibatkan uh, kajian nutrisi dan juga uh, pengkhususan yang mana dia telah mendapat lebih kurang 14,000 eh, 14,000 kemudian uh, peralatan untuk uh, membuat mi lebih kurang dalam 10,000 ringgit <coughs> dan juga untuk program kukuk itu uh, jenis apa ni uh, pemasaran terus di pelanggan eh, yang mana melibatkan selama tujuh orang dan seorang pemasar jadi satu tambah enam yang mana masing-masing mendapat RM5,000 seorang maknanya itu RM5,000 As stated in the bar chart in 2014, the total community export for vegetables in the Cameron Highland District has been recorded as 72,316,160 ton metrics. As for the year 2015, the total number of commodity exports for vegetables in Cameron Highland District has increased by 3.91%, which is to 78,203,954 ton metrics as compared to the previous year. This increment can be influenced by the government activities that introduce several useful programs related to agriculture sector like for example, MyGap and GPL. In following year 2016, it was recorded that the total commodity export is 19,811,792 up to the current month of April. And the total commodity export for the year 2016 in terms of vegetables is expected to be rise up to 82 million ton metrics. This expected incremental is to be influenced likely by higher international market demand such as from Singapore and Middle East countries. Meanwhile, the total community export for fruits in Cameron Highland District has been recorded as 32,310 ton metrics. However, in 2015, the total number of the community export for fruits decreased rapidly to 5,020 ton metrics due to the mud flood incident that happened on the previous year in Ringlet area. The mud flood incident hugely affected the agriculture sector especially in the fruit production starting from month of January till May 2015. Up to the month of April 2016, the trend of the commodity export for fruits is expected to be continued to increase back to its normal pace by the end of December 2016. Harapan saya lah untuk perkembangan uh, pertanian di tanah sini. Pertama sekali saya harapkan penggunaan racun yang lebih selamat kemudian bagi mengurangkan MRN kemudian kita dapatkan grade ataupun standard yang lebih baik dan juga memudahkan urusan untuk ekspor harapan saya harga apa, harga komoditi itu lebih lebih baik daripada yang sekarang sebab keadaan ketidaktentuan harga di mana kita ataupun kita lah apa ni petani ni berada dalam keadaan uh, tersepit antara kos kos dan nasi seperti yang kita tahu Cameron Highland ni setakat ni memang pengeluar saya untuk besar di Malaysia lah kan jadinya harapan tu kalau boleh di masa akan datang uh, sistem penanaman sistem pertanian yang sedia ada di Cameron Highland ni mungkin kita boleh uh, kita boleh bersainglah dengan negara luar contoh yang lagi lagi maju daripada kita macam Jepun, Thailand semua yang lebih lebih advance pasal ni bidang pertanian ni
Sudah, Pak.